Reinventing Government How the Entrepreneurial Spirit is Transforming the Public Sector is a nonfiction political science book co authored by David Osborne and Ted Gebler. First published in 1993, it received high praise, with The Washington Post describing it as a landmark in the debate on the future of public policy. Drawing from their extensive research on political practices across the United States, Osborne and Gebler argue for the need to adopt a new model of entrepreneurial government to counter the growing influence of private money in public politics. In the book, they present a comprehensive 10-chapter blueprint for achieving this entrepreneurial government, emphasizing the importance of reducing spending, empowering communities, and promoting promoting local competition to prevent monopolies. The authors compare the changing landscape of the U.S. public sector to an American perestroika in the book's introduction. They observe a restructuring of the political system, driven by the influx of money into politics, which introduces market forces into various government operations. Osborne and Gebler caution against the expanding size of bureaucratic institutions and advocate for a decentralized system that disperses power and curbs monopolistic practices. They assert that these ideas are not novel, but rather a compilation of experiential data gathered from numerous political scientists and public officials across the nation. Throughout the book, Osborne and Gebler provide numerous examples to support their arguments, covering a range of areas such as schools, slums, sanitation, and more. They frequently reference John Q. Wilson, author of the 1989 book Bureaucracy, whose work contributes to what Osborne and Gebler consider a new paradigm in public administration. Reinventing Government. How the entrepreneurial spirit is transforming the public sector presents a fresh and optimistic model that encourages politicians to focus on improving the efficiency of government programs to directly benefit the users. The authors draw inspiration from various influential thinkers, including Robert Reich, Alvin Toffler, and Harry Boyd who contribute to this new paradigm. Osborne and Gebler highlight the influence of individuals outside of government, particularly management consultants like Thomas Peters, Edward Deeming, and Peter Drucker. These experts recognize the inefficiencies that exist in both large businesses and state local governments. Consequently, the authors argue that governments and businesses should move beyond outdated processes rooted in the past and embrace decentralization, quality control, fiscal responsibility, and community empowerment. They advocate for a collaborative approach between governments and businesses, where protocols are rewritten in sync with each other. While market oriented policies are important, Osborne and Gebler emphasize the significance of warmth, care, and community in solving bureaucratic problems. They suggest combining market conscious approaches with community led initiatives to address issues effectively. The authors contend that smaller government programs can be more efficient and have a greater personal impact. Their research leads them to advocate for a less is more approach to governance. Overall, reinventing government offers a hopeful vision of governance that emphasizes efficiency, collaboration, and community involvement to create a more effective and impactful public sector. The authors of Reinventing Government begin by highlighting their chief concern with the outdated hierarchical and centralized bureaucracies of the 1930s and 1940s. They argue that these systems are ill-suited to the rapidly changing society and economy of the 1990s, which is characterized by information abundance and knowledge intensity. To address this problem, Osborne and Gebler present a 10-point solution in the first chapter, starting with the idea that government should guide programs at the local level, rather than imposing them. In the subsequent chapters, the authors emphasize the importance of empowering communities to find their own solutions and promoting competition to prevent monopolies. They advocate for mission-driven programs that prioritize outcomes instead of being overly focused on rules. Additionally, they stress the need for customer-centric approaches rather than bureaucratic agency-driven processes. Osborne and Gebler argue for budget reductions, increased diversity, and the ability to adapt to the ever-changing societal challenges. Throughout the book, Osborne and Gebler provide numerous examples of how state and local governments have successfully transformed themselves using these methods. They support their case for a paradigm shift by showcasing these real-life instances of effective governance. In the final four chapters, the authors emphasize the importance of focusing on earning money rather than just spending it, investing in preventative measures rather than reactionary ones, decentralizing authority to disperse power, and leveraging market forces rather than creating new public programs. Ultimately, they advocate for all levels of government to adopt a mindset of spending less, decentralizing authority, and actively engaging with communities to foster flexibility, innovation, and efficiency. 
According to the authors, implementing these measures will significantly alleviate the political gridlock caused by bureaucratic systems and steer market forces towards more efficient governance. The book's conclusion reinforces the notion that the challenges faced by governments are similar to those faced by businesses. By recognizing this shared struggle and embracing the entrepreneurial spirit, both sectors can find solutions that address their respective obstacles in a unified manner. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.